Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Blakeu92 again, and this time we're going to be going over a little tutorial about subclips and storyboarding and all the details in that. So, like I say in all my videos, if you've seen any so far, I always announce that I am a Final Cut Pro certified user as well as an Avid Media Composer certified user, but that doesn't make me in any way a certified instructor for either of those programs. Now I talked about subclips just a little bit in my last tutorial, or the one before that, I'm not exactly sure. I kind of briefly just created one from the source monitor here. But for this chapter we're going to go into a little bit more detail and explain the differences uh, between subclips and subsequences and learn why they're important for editing. Okay then, let's get started. I've got my apartment clip uh, put in the source monitor here and we can do that by double clicking. And now that we have it in there, the first thing we're going to do is find the part of the master clip, which is this whole part right here. And then we can find uh, little parts that we want to just snip out of there and create its own little sub clip so we can use those later without having to look through all this footage. So I'm just going to put an in and out right there. And if you want to be sure that it's exactly the spot that you want to make a sub clip of, you can click the play in to out button to make sure and it will play back from this mark in to that mark out. Once we're sure that we have the footage we need, we would then take our cursor and move it all the way up here to the top left of the source monitor up to this little clip icon and notice when we hover over it becomes a little hand and it says create subclip. So what you do there is you just basically click and it makes a little uh, toothy jagged looking square over it and you can visually just uh, drag it over here into 